going on, Explorers? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, let me clear this. Hold on. Much better. All right. Time for your weekly reading. Keep in mind, this is a general collective Taurus read, so do take what resonates, leave the press. Switch the roles if you have to. All right. Make sure you like, share, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. So we're presenting messages to Taurus, please. We really need to know. Messages to Taurus is... Somebody's spreading rumors about you. Because of that, they're losing their gifts. Taurus. Clear cognizance. Only wants you for your sperm. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so the person is spreading rumors. They could be saying that somebody only wants you for your sperm or you only want somebody for their sperm to get pregnant. But you know intuitively that this person is doing it. And because of that, in their ignorant ways, if this person was spiritually gifted, it's being taken from them. Spirit don't play that. You can't you can't be a petty you can't be a petty mofo and be spiritually gifted. Like no. Sorry y'all. You can't be like you can't be petty and spiritually gifted. No. You need to pick one. Alright. Um let's see. Claire Cognizant. Now, whoever this is, you know this person is going to want your forgiveness for whatever they did or said. They're going to want your commitment. Okay. This is interesting. This person might apologize, ask for your forgiveness. They see you as a life partner and they want to commit to you. But at the same time, being with this person, you might feel like you're settling. It's just like, who, if you really care about me and love me, why would you even gossip behind my back like that? Why? Um, one person's spreading rumors. You need to let this person go. Let it go or let this person go. Spiritual bankruptcy. Yeah, it's going to be redeemed. It's, it's going to be redeemed to you who this person is. And you're going to see... Um, you're going to see the change in them because they're not going to have that glow. They're not going to be, I'm hearing it as important, but they're just not going to look the same way that they did. Once those gifts are taken from you, you just look regular. Only wants you for your sperm. There's something that stands out um, for you when you're spiritually gifted. Um, so somebody could be, be afraid that that's only what you want or they're, you're afraid that that's what they want here. Like the relationship. Friend movement. What is this? Friend movement. Yeah, because somebody's in an unhappy relationship. So somebody feels as though. Somebody feels as though this relationship is only to have a child, not to be. Like, it's not because you want, you actually love me. It's because you want a child. And that's it. That sucks. They may apologize and ask for forgiveness for making you feel that way. So it's like two different situations going on here. All right, let's see. Let's get more detail. Get more detail. Okay. Well, let's see. Sir, give me messages for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. To the Holy Spirit. Taurus. Three of Pentacles in reverse. We need principles. Hey, man. Realize in reverse. Six of 
Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Damn, Taurus, they got a lot to say to you. So, Taurus, looks like you from your money's been financially, you know, even out, out, uh, financially out of whack. You stopped working at a job, you may have quit, you may have gotten fired. Spirit telling you not to worry because that's going to change for you. Um, there may be a delay in what it is that you want because you need to, um, I'm going to say change your way of thinking and also put your pride aside. Your arrogance is causing delays. Um, and they're telling you to stop waiting for something to come to you and actually just go get it because it's like you're thinking about you know getting more money you're thinking about a job that pays better um better benefits and all of that and it's like you're waiting for it to come to you but how's it going to come to you if you are not taking action now um I'm also saying there's a relationship that you ended or needed to end it's like it's not working you don't want to deal with them anymore um, or this person, you know, that you were dealing with doesn't want to deal with you anymore. Um, but if they might have a realization that they were more arrogant in the relationship than before. So they might change their mind and try to come back towards you. And they will give more to you. They'll give more to your kids. Because I feel like this is a situation where it, it wasn't their children. It was your children. Spirit is also telling you to stop thinking that it won't work. Because it can. Alright, so we got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio. Alright, let's see. Three Pentacles in reverse. Let's see if Yeah, you definitely don't want to deal with somebody anymore or you would rather work by yourself. You feel like, okay, you also might have felt like being, when it came to work, you were doing it all yourself or even in a relationship, you were doing everything on your own. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you were tired of it, period. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So now it's like you could feel like you were doing something that you love, but you weren't making enough. So you were kind of suffering in silence kind of energy. Why is the hangman here? Is this life? Hangman. Yeah, you were like, you need to keep, you're realizing that you're, there are more opportunities coming in. And you need to keep your options open. Okay. Very different opportunities possibly. There's something that might come in that you will actually like. Possibly even love. But you know, you don't think about it. Something different. It could be something different. Something that you're not used to. Alright. Or someone that you're not used to will come out of nowhere. And they might give you room for your money. Somebody cologne smell good. Three of Wands in reverse. You could have turned your back on someone that caused a lot of confusion. Somebody that was definitely jealous of you. Um, or you need to, but you're being stubborn. Somebody around you could definitely be greedy. Could be somebody that you were in a relationship with that you need to um, end, divorce, set boundaries. King of Pentacles in reverse, Hierophant in reverse. 
being with this person caused a lot of setbacks for you too. Could be a manager as well that was taking advantage. Yep. Or it could have been somebody that you thought was your emperor that kept lying, cheating, trying to get away with something. They may have had another relationship with someone. They could have lied about their finances as well. But this could be, like I said, this... The emperor had a lot that they were hiding and lying about with the empress. So this could be you and that person. Which is why you lost faith in the relationship. This could be a manager that lied about giving you raises, about disciplining people that, you know, weren't helping and all that. They were giving the, the raise to somebody else. It could be something like that. Six of Pentacles. You're very giving, Taurus, and it's time for you to walk towards something better. Better relationship, better job. You'll be more successful with it. But right now, you're confused as to how you're having all these negative thoughts trying to figure out how to do that. Shit, just do it, okay? Don't think too much about it. All your heart, not your head. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it was a relationship that wasn't working for you. With the Ten of Cups, you wanted to, but yeah, see, King of Cups, um, Empress, somebody that you definitely cared about. But whoever this was is selfish. Yeah. See, I feel like they were giving their love to someone else. Yeah, see, both of y'all together were the Emperor and the Empress in reverse. So this, um, I'm hearing that it was doomed from the get-go because both of y'all have some stuff that y'all need to work on. You know, both of y'all might have controlling issues. Both of y'all might be selfish. Both of y'all are stubborn. It could be like that kind of energy. So y'all are mirroring each other, definitely. Why is not a swords in the first spirit? You feel like all is lost. You're not satisfied with how things are because things are just paused and nothing is going on for you. But you do have an opportunity that's coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. A new, a new job, new love, new career, new money. You do have something coming in, so don't worry. That it is coming in. Even despite all the stuff that you're thinking about and going through, you have something coming in for you. Knight of Wands in reverse. See, stop worrying so much and quit being so guarded. You're not, I mean, of course, nobody's going to be satisfied or happy with the challenges that they're going through and you're losing faith in the situation, but they're telling you that you need to relax. Release fear, of course. You need to release the fear that you're feeling right now. Okay. Knight of Swords. You and this person could feel like y'all move too fast. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Y'all are definitely moving too fast. You're definitely driven to succeed. You're learning the lessons and you're moving on. For some of y'all, y'all feel manipulated by somebody. Why is the magician in reverse? Stopping yourself from plotting and planning and making decisions too much starting to make decisions. You're at a crossroads. You don't know what you what to do. Not satisfied with how things are going and change it. But you're going to get some good news in, in amongst all of this. But you gotta move remove your arrogance though. I understand why you have an attitude, but you gotta remove that arrogance. Six cups. Six of Cups is telling you that um, it's telling you to hold on. You kind of being frugal. Let go of whatever you need to let go of, and um. 
hold on to what? Avoid conflict. Okay. Watch your words. Okay. You need to watch your words. Watch what you say and how you say it. Because even though you feel like it didn't mean, you didn't mean to say it that way, it could be taken the wrong way. Watch what you say and how you say it. And be peaceful with your words. Be kind with your words. Be fair. Because you're going to create your own um, imbalance talking to this person crazy. I don't know who this is, but talking to this talk to whoever is going to hire you or whoever you um, date, they're not, they're not going to like the arrogance that you got. You're going to cause confusion and it's going to, you're going to miss an opportunity on something new. All right? So my towards this. That's, if it resonated, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for when I upload or go live. Uh, also, if you'd like to book a personal, there is an October special for $50. Go to picturemebalance.com. It's also in the description box below. Bye, y'all.